Well, howdy, y'all. Welcome to West of Loathing. This is Colin the Conqueror, and I am happy to start this game. I've seen it played by a few YouTubers, and I fell in love with it uh, because it matches my humor, and it also matches one of my favorite genres, that is, the Western. Let's start this new game. I guess Brett Duty is who I am. That's a fun name. I <laughs> ah, there we go. You know what? Let's leave that there. And let's just put my actual name on there, because that's too funny. Uh-oh. I have to decide what I'm doing. What am I? Cow puncher? Bean slinger? Or a snake oiler? Kinda feel like snake oiler might be what Snake oilers rely on their moxie and chutzpah to tame snakes. Their fearlessness to extract potent oils from other snakes, from those snakes, and their cleverness to man manufacture and sell potions made from those oils. You've heard snake oilers are doing really well out west since the old, since the cows came home. <laughs> Everybody needs potions and hope in these dark days, and also out west is where all these snakes best live, or best snakes live. Yeah, that sounds like something I might do. Well, hold on a second, I have to do controller stuff. Okay. Wait, what? This weird poster appeared here one night. Yeah, it's just WASD. Okay. You read the spine of your of one of your books, The Curse of Rattlesnake Cellar. Mom gave me this a few years ago. You read another title. The Miracle of Witch Cabin. Rufus liked this one as much as I did. Trouble at Erie Outhouse. Goodbye, phonograph. Turn it off. There we go. This hearth puts really puts the hearth and hearth and home. Hey. <laughs> it's mom's pie safe. Keeps all her pies safe. Wow, I don't even have to push buttons to enter doors. I just walk up to them and they go out. Pick up one of your brother's weird books and flip it over. Ouvre Mathematique de Varis Galois. Uh, weird kid. Yeah, okay, so he's... I'm not even going to try and read that uh, German. I barely ever managed to read the French. And then that... Might be, I'm betting, that's Latin. So tidy. Okay. Your family's farm. Well, time to screw around in the woods, time to head west. Your mom smiles warmly as you approach. I'm leaving now, mom. We're gonna miss you, kiddo. Oh, and before you leave, I got you a present. A present? Yep, it's that book you wanted for Krimbo. I know it's early, but... The one about picking locks? Oh, boy. The one about desert survival? Oh, boy. The one about bartering? Oh, boy. Hmm. Desert survival. That's the one. Enjoy it. You got an item. Desert eating and drinking. Please be careful out there. Write us a letter when you can. I will, Mom. Goodbye. And who is this? Your father morosely jabs at the haystack. That hat doesn't fit you, Dad. Time for me to leave, Dad. I'm gonna do it. That hat doesn't fit you. I'll grow into it. 
It's time for me to leave. His lip quivers a little. Listen, I, I want you to have this. It's your grandmother's briefcase full of snakes. You gotta knock them. Briefcase full of snakes. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Good luck out there. Be sure to say goodbye to your mother. I did. Goodbye, Dad. And I believe that's my brother. Your brother Rufus is standing here looking nervous. He's pretty good at looking nervous. Say goodbye. Hey, Rufus. Time for me to head west. I still don't understand why you're leaving. He's got a point, you know. Why are you going west anyway? To help people to seek my fortune to get off this stupid farm. I'm going to go with to help people. You've read the papers, Rufus. The people out west are in trouble. They need all the help they can get. But it's dangerous. 60% of the people who go west get killed within a year. And that statistic is from before the cows came home. I'll be okay. You worry about taking care of mom and dad, I'll worry about me. Okay, if you say so. I still think you'll dead be, be dead before Crimbo. I'll miss you too, Rufus. Time to go. Call when duty. Snake oiler. Stomach. Liver. Spleen. Okay, all of these I guess need to be important here. Go west, young man. Yes. Hitching a ride across the Great Plain. Well, the bad news is that you fell off that cart and got knocked out for a couple hours. And now you've got no ride, no meat, and no prospects. The good news is that you're in a town rather than in a gulch somewhere. Not much of a town, though. Get up and dust yourself off. The town of Boring Springs. Get a turnip. You got an item. Dusty turnip. Uh-oh. Drunk. Sign on the... Door reads, gone drinking. Ew. Stepped in a horse pie. Howdy, stranger. Welcome to Boring Springs. I'm the sheriff in these parts. The what? The sheriff. Okay. Blasted sign painters. Say, you wouldn't happen to be looking for work, would you? Well, as a matter of fact, I am. Depends on the work or nope. I think it'll depend on the work. Well, how does this grab you? There's a gang of hoodlums around here, what, what called themselves the Fricker Gang. Last time I arrested one of them, they busted out and took them and took my cell door with them. I ain't uh, well, it ain't much good without the door. And and I need somebody tough, smart, and or slick to go fetch it back for me. Why don't you do it? You're the sheriff, after all. Okay, I'll give it a shot. Mm, nah. I think I'll do... Okay, I'll give it a shot. Funny you should say that, because I'm sending the deputy along with you. Keep you out of trouble. He takes a pistol out of his desk and hands it to you. You got an item. Des deputy pistol. You deputized it. Deputy? You deputized the gun. You're new in town. And, or maybe you ain't noticed, but there ain't much except to do here except drinking. Here, let me write down in the Fricker Gang's hideout for you. Yeah, where it is for you. There. Got a new map location, the Fricker Gang's hideout. 
Got it? I'll be back with that door. Step right up, step right up. Braid's the name and trade's the game. You seriously doubt that his name is Braid? Howdy, Braid. What are you trading? Well, sir, today I'm trading locks for soap and a and stick of dynamite for a needle. And to the cunning skinner who brought, who brings me the rattles, three rattlesnakes hide. Well, to that adventurer's soul, I will trade a fine silver pocket watch. I got nothing. That bump into the get lost. Is that a dude stuck in a cactus? Seriously? You approach the weird cactus man hybrid. He smiles at you. Howdy, cactus man. Howdy yourself, and the name's Bill. Cactus Bill. What happened to you, Bill? Well, to be honest, partner, I drank too much cactus beer, and it turned me into a cactus. Doc Alice warned me this would happen, but I didn't listen. And that's why you, they call you Cactus Bill? No, that's just a coincidence. Oh. Does it hurt? Does what hurt? You know, being a cactus. Oh, <laughs> no, it's actually kind of nice. The natural fermentation processes inside the cactus part of me keep me pretty drunk most of the time. I guess it's a mite boring. Yeah, I bet. It wouldn't be so bad if I had something to read. You don't happen to have a newspaper or anything, do you? Nope, sorry. Well, if you happen to find one, keep me in mind. Will do, Bill. Topeka, 60 miles. Nope, remember, you're, you're not allowed in Topeka anymore. Remember, what is that? Loose dirt. I need a shovel or something. Not step in the horse pie again. I wonder if I can go into the bar. Go into the bar, yeah. As you walk into the saloon, the crazy eyed guy sitting to the left of the door shrieks and waves at you to get your attention. Hey! Where's your hat, Dagnabbit? Well, I, uh, you can't drink in here without a hat. It ain't proper. He points the, to the take a hat, leave a hat box next to the door. Check out the box. You look through the hat box and find a battered derby. That looks like something you'd wear. Floppy derby. You grab the hat and put it on. Thanks, uh, Pete. Thanks, Pete. He gives you a friendly, somewhat twitchy nod. Say, feller? <laughs> yeah? You heading west? If you want company, I'd be more than happy to, uh, along, just let me know. Well, uh, no pressure. There's Pete. Nope, nope, hang on. You walk up to the bar and wait patiently for the bartender to notice you. While you're waiting, you see a sign taped to the back wall reading, Reward for 20, for lost mugs, 25 meat each. The bartender finally notices you. Howdy, cowboy. Howdy, barkeep. Name's Colwyn. What brings you back to our little back... Or brings, bleh, what brings you out to our little backwater? Oh, the usual. I came west to make my fortune. Not having much luck so far, though. Any work around these parks? Unfortunately, Boring Springs already has more people in it than jobs. It's more of a, an errand town if you catch my meaning. If you're looking for a real job, I'd recommend talking to the railroad people up by Dirtwater. Ask about the railroad, ask about Dirtwater, ask about errands. I'll ask about errands. You mentioned errands. Yeah, this forsaken burg is always falling apart one way or another. The hostler's always needing help since he had hurt his leg, and that no-count sheriff could certainly stand to have somebody doing his job for him. Anything else? Well, I got a goblin loose in the basement. Some cowpoke from the gulch didn't wipe his boots off, and I got spores everywhere. I can probably handle a goblin. Much obliged. I'll unlock the basement door for you. Oh, and you'll need this. You got an item. Weak fungicide. I'll take care of it. Howdy, I'm Colin. Howdy, Colin. I'm Horace. Nice to meet you. What do you do? I'm the town hostler. I don't know what that is. <laughs> How's that working out for you? How's that working out for you? Oh, those horses are just flying out the door. So, business is booming? Nice. No, I mean the horses keep running away. I haven't sold one in ages. Oh, is that why you're drinking here instead? Uh, yep. And me being in here drinking instead of watching the horses is probably how they keep escaping. It's one of those vicious circle things. 
Well, I'm in need of a horse. Do you have any left? One. Kind of a boring one, but it's got four legs and a back to sit on. Come see me at the stable and I'll be happy to show it to you. Ah, howdy. Howdy, good to see you again, Colin. You tape your hat to the back, bartender. Who's the lady drinking whiskey out of a beer mug? That's Susie. She's a rancher from nearby. A real tough broad. I ain't recommending you pester her. Why is that? Lost her whole family to a cow attack recently. Got some pent-up frustrations about it. Ouch. Ooh. It's a spittoon. People spit into it. You know, without even looking at it, that it's absolutely disgusting. I'm gonna look in it. Yeah, it's full of spit. Regular spit, gross tobacco spit, chewing gum, and it looks like a few teeth as well. It's disgusting, and the smell, even from a distance, it smells horrible. Look closer. You are now ha you are now on your hands and knees, peering into a filth-encrusted spittoon. I don't, I don't understand what is wrong with you. Wait, is there something shining at the bottom? Get it. You reach your hand toward the spittoon. Even before you touch it, you can feel the grossness in the air. Like a greasy fog enveloping the stinking brass horror. It smells like the vomit through a mesquite barbecue eating contest. You hesitate. Never surrender! You plunge your hand into the awful soup. It makes a sound like... Your skin is burning. Your eyes start to water. Search. Might as well go all the way. Your fingers make contact with something. You pull, some, you pull your hand out of the devil's tureen slowly, not daring to risk splashing the contents all over yourself. You appear to have gotten some kind of ring, probably some kind of disease as well. Congratulations. You got an item. Nasty ring. Hooray! Or rather, hooray! Alright. Let's go see if I can take care of that goblin problem. Gabo. Pile of old newspapers. Take one. Okay. A crate of Nurse brand whiskey. Good for what ails you. Grab a bottle. I guess we never established your age. Good thing the legal, dra the legal drinking ages can reach the top of the bar. You got an item. Nurse brand whiskey. The goblin charge. <laughs> Attack the goblin. Okay. Got the jump on him. What do I want to do? On me side. taken care of. Took care of that goblin. Thank you kindly, Colin. I knew you was a stand-up feller the moment you walked in here. She reaches under the bar and grabs a bag of meat. Here you go. It's the least I can do for a way of thanks. <coughs> you gain 200 meat. Tip your hat. something to do. These two are playing poker, or at least trying to. They keep looking back and forth from their hands to the how to play poker card that came with their deck, biting their lips and concentrating real hard. Can I play? They look at you nervously. Look, I have some meat. Let's play. You put 20 meat on the table and sit down before you. they can say no. One of them shuffles the cards sloppily and deals a new round. You get a pair of tens plus a two, a three, and a king. Ugh. I'm gonna bet aggressively. Yeehaw, I'll bet 15 meat. They look at each other nervously, but they call your bet. Okay, read them in a week. You show a pair of tens plus two three kings. The guy on the left has a full house, two jacks, and three aces. 
and the gal to the right somehow got a straight flush. Two through six in hearts. I'm gonna go ahead and try, uh, say I win. You explain that jacks are worth nine points each, giving the guy on the left a total of 21 points to the, uh, to the gal on the right's 20, and you're 25 plus a king. They squint at the rules again, but eventually shrug and nod at you. You collect your winnings and stand up. They thank you for helping them learn the game. You gain 30 meat. Walk away. Yeah, I'm gonna walk away before they realize I just cheated. I'm gonna go give this newspaper to, to Cactus Bill. Cactus Bill. Give him the newspaper. Much obliged, partner. Now let's see here. What can I do to return the favor? Oh, I know. My shovel. I left it behind the outhouse at Four Hole Mine. It's yours if you go and get it. I'm sure you'll find a use for it. Thank you. I got Moxie level two. Behind the old the outhouse at Four Hole Mine. Got it. Thanks, Bill. No mention. Now, if you could just kind of stick that newspaper to my face before you leave. Nope, nope. Not allowed it to speak anymore. Ah, stepped in horse fire. Alright. 300 miles is too far to go on foot. I'll need a horse. Oh, yeah. We gotta need to go to the horse. Thousand meat. Man. Afternoon, sir. What can I do for you? How's business? Oh, you know, every damn hostling. Good. To tell the truth, though, it's pretty terrible. All of my horses keep running away. Well, except for this completely ordinary one. That's rough. Maybe I can help. Oh, God, yes. L uh, thank you. Please. I'd go fetch them myself, except for this injury. I'll give you 300 meat. 300 meat each for finding them. How many are there? Three. Here, let me set your map. The, uh, see your map. They're, they pretty much always run away to the same places. You discovered a new map location, or who mine. You discovered a new map location, bo uh, Boring Springs Boneyard. You discovered a new map location, Thousand Snakes Gulch. Why these places? I think they like environments that are thematically appropriate. Here, when you find one, feed it some of these oats. That's just in the back here. You got a bag of homing oats. How does that work? They're special pigeon-infused oats. Oh, gosh. Okay, will do. See you later. But, I need a horse. Can I buy one? Let's see if I can buy it. Well, how do I... Need to find out how to get more money. Ow, I just ran into a cactus. That's smart. Eh. Can't go there. Stepped in. I walked into another cactus again. Nope, no trades. How did I walk into that? I'm gonna go bug Alice, or Susie, I mean. The woman glares at you. Howdy, Susie. Howdy, cowboy, who's gonna be searching the spittoon for his teeth if you don't leave me in peace. Yeah, well. What do you say, Pete? Who, me? Well, heck, I say all kinds of things. For instance, I've been mining these mountains longer than a boondoggled hop frog can scream a solo. Uh-huh. Pete takes a, a swig of his whiskey. See you later, Pete. Wanted for bird theft, naked Mike Bernstein. <laughs> there were 200 meat. Wanted fly in person at the Yuma's, Yuma Marshal's office. Bimmy Fricker for face thieving. Reward 420 me. I'll be back. Yeah. I just gotta figure out how to make 800 more meat. Yeah. 
Dang it. Oh, I didn't want to go there. I wanted to go back in the bar. See if there's anything. No? travel to one of these places. Let's see. Let's go to the Orho Mine. See if I can go there. I can. Cool. This is where we also to look. Behind the outhouse. You weren't kidding. Not that this would have been a funny thing to kid about, I guess. You got an item. Shove. There's still some meat. One of the... There's still some meat for in this cart. Dig through it. Gain 50 meat. Cool. Mug. Cover the mug. Go in here and see what we got. Or whole mine. Dig through it. Unrefined meat nugget. Ooh, that can blow up. Oh, at least there's no plunger hooked up to it. Okay. I guess I have to find one. Huh? mechanism is labeled cargo elevator control. The poster on the wall behind reads, level 1 blasting cap storage, level 2 plungers, both kinds, level 3 tools. Where do you want to send the cargo elevator? I'm gonna say level 3 first. plunger to it. Before I do that, I'm going to get last cap. Grab one. I'm going to press the plunger. Thousand Snakes Gulch. Ooh. Snake looks sleepy, but not that sleepy. Attack it. Uh oh. Ow. Shoot him. Collect one venom and one medicine. Another snake. Well, it's not called one snake, Gulch. Attack it. Uh-oh. Let's drop on me. Uh-oh. I'm poisoned. Drop on me again. Do I have any items that can deal with this thing? No. I'm gonna shoot it.
you don't kill me. Oh no. Okay, good. Phew. Yay. Still up Moxie Love 3, collect 2 Venom and 2 Medicine. But, but, hang on. Let's see if I have any medicine that I can take. Snake crazy, or maybe he was just some other kind of crazy before. Approach him. Hey there, boy. Hey, fella. I'm a friend, okay? It's cool, alright? Be cool. Don't freak out on me. Look him in the eyes. Pat his nose. I'm gonna pat his nose. You carefully and gently pat the horse's nose. He twitches a bit, okay, a lot. It seems to recognize that you aren't going to eat his eyes or suck out his soul or whatever madness is bouncing around in that skull of his. That's a good boy. Look him in the eyes. You calmly look the horse in the eyes. One of them is fixed in a glassy thousand yard stare, and the other is revolving madly in its socket like it. He's thinking of trying to escape in every direction simultaneously. He looks to be calming down a little now. Now that it's clear you aren't actually made of spiders, though. Eat him the oats. Are you hungry, boy? I've got, I've got a treat for you. <laughs> you. Feed the crazy horse some of the homing oats, and it gallops away with a winning. Or rather, a <laughs> Hopefully he's headed home, and not into the 12th dimension. Cool. Eek. I stepped into another cactus. Alright. I'm gonna have to walk all the way back over there, hit him. On the map. Look. That. No. Yeah. Well, folks, I think that's where I'm going to end our first episode of West of Loathing. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. I know I'm starting to enjoy it. Uh, so come back for some more of it later on. This is Calling the Conqueror. Signing off.